Hey guys, it's Cassie, and welcome back to my channel, Miraculous Talk. Today, we are discussing the Mundo Gloob spoilers, which I'm pretty sure means we're talking about the season 4 finale. And I have a theory that will blow your minds. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video, a theory, or any miraculous buzz. Without further ado, let's talk miraculous. So yesterday was Miraculous Day, and Mundo Gloob decided that they weren't done spoiling everything for everyone in the fandom. If you're trying not to know what the spoilers are, you might want to stop watching now. Alright, now that you've been warned, I'm gonna say I am pretty sure that the spoilers are mostly from the finale of Season 4. So the first spoiler we got is that Hawk Moth will get his hands on the Miraculous. Notice the name Hawk Moth, not Shadow Moth. I'm still not sure if that was just an error on Gloob's part, or if they really do mean Hawk Moth. I do have a small theory on how that could be, but not like a complete in-depth one. And honestly, we kind of all knew this was going to happen at some point, that Shadow Moth, Hawk Moth, would get the Miraculous. So it's not really that big of a spoiler, we knew it would happen, and we knew that it would have to be a finale when that happens. So the next spoiler we got is a script reading. If you want to check out that script reading that was done, there is a link to it in the description box below. But for time purposes of this video, I'm just going to hit the high points here and tell you that we find out two things from that. One is that Marinette's parents are akumatized, and two, Tiki is acting crazy. And then there is a third spoiler. Now, I don't speak Portuguese, but I did turn the closed captions on the YouTube video of it and tried to translate some parts of it. And they had a whole section about Marinette and her nightmares and how they could come to life. Like they even talked about her nightmares from Sandboy, which is interesting and kind of makes me wonder if maybe Sandboy could come back in another episode before the finale, um, especially since we saw Ezra with the actor that plays Sam Boy. But the important part here is that her dreams are becoming reality, which means the return of Cap Blanc, Shadow Moth finds out her identity, everyone finds out her identity, Shadow Moth gets his hands on the miraculous. I mean, in the dream, it's the miraculous box, but that could also just represent, represent the miraculous. And if we really look at Cat Blanc in her dream that she had in Scenti Bubbler, Cat says, oh, now there's no more secrets between us. We can tie the knot. So that means Adrian and Marinette, Cat and Ladybug are totally happening this season. And if you did not think there was a reveal coming before, you should definitely think there is now. Now let's talk about Shadow Moth finding out Ladybug's identity. I don't know how this is going to happen because, I mean, Gabriel saw Marinette in Shanghai and in New York and he saw Ladybug there and he never once suspected that Marinette was Ladybug from both of those. So I mean, short of transforming in front of him, I have no idea what will make Shadow Moth realize that Marinette could be Ladybug. But based off of what we're hearing, I do think that Shadow Moth somehow finds out who she is and decides to get to her through her family. The same way he got to Chloe through her parents in the season 3 finale. So the synopsis for the finale, The Last Attack of Shadow Moth, says having understood that her cautiousness is the reason why Ladybug is always triumphing, Shadow Moth prepares a diabolical plan which consists of creating a supervillain able to make his victims take all sorts of risks. When Marinette finds out that Adrian is leaving Paris for a few weeks with Lila, the new face of the Aggress brand, she's ready to do anything to prevent him from doing so. But to what point? Would she reveal her secret identity for the sake of love? And would Adrian take the risk of finally confronting his father? So now, if Shadow Moth did find out Ladybug's identity and targeted her family, that would be diabolical and the villain's power generally comes from something that the person is experiencing like in truth when luka wanted the truth and like lies when kagami was lying and being lied to so i'm wondering if maybe marinette's family finds out that she is ladybug and they are upset about the dangerous risks that she takes to be paris's superheroine 
So their power, if akumatized, would result in a villain that causes risks. But I also think that this villain gets his name from the extraordinary risk that Shadow Moth is going to undertake for this plan to work. No risk, no reward, right? As for the synopsis referring to the villain as a dude, I don't think that really matters and I don't think that we should be caught up on semantics because in Oblivio, Alia and Nino were both Oblivio and after everything goes back to normal, Kat's like, hey, do you guys, did you guys see a villain named Oblivio? And Alia ends up saying he was us actually. So I really think it could still be Sabine and Tom that gets akumatized together to make this villain happen. But that brings us to the spoiler script reading of Marinette's parents being akumatized. That fit right in line with that. During that reading, Tiki seems to be taking crazy, crazy risks. Like maybe she got hit in the process when they found out that Marinette is Ladybug and Tiki's revealed and she takes the hit for Marinette. So it really seems like it lines up perfectly. Now I do think that this is going to be part one of the finale. And I do think that at some point, either in part one or the very beginning of part two, Marinette is going to reveal her identity to Adrian because she knows he's Cat Noir already. I've done a theory video on that, super short. You can check it out in the description box below, there is a link. So part two of the finale, I think is going to be Ladybug, Marinette, trying to save her parents and coming face to face with Shadow Moth. I do think it will result in her getting akumatized and giving her Miraculous to Shadow Moth. Though I think at some point between Shadow Moth akumatizing Marinette's parents and Marinette getting akumatized, he loses the Peacock Miraculous. I'm not really sure how that's going to happen, but I do think when it all comes down to, you know, him getting Cat's Miraculous, I think he is just going to be Hawk Moth somehow. So there's two possible ways that Shadow Moth could get Cat's Miraculous, and that is either one, Marinette gets the better of Cat in combat and takes his Miraculous, or Cat will do anything to save Marinette and he willingly gives up his Miraculous. Either way, I'm looking forward to Shadow Moth's shocked expression again as he sees Adrian is Cat. So at this point, Adrian will be standing up to his father because his father was Shadow Moth. So whether or not he knows he is his father at that point, I'm not sure. I think he'll definitely know it once Plag and Tiki are unified because he'll see it's his father doing it. Now, Gabriel will unify Plag and Tiki and make his wish, and Emily's gonna be brought back. Marinette, by this point, will be released from her akumatization and she'll watch helplessly alongside of Adrian. The thing I haven't worked out though is who will pay the price to bring Emily back? Adrian or Gabriel? Part of me wants to say it's Adrian because that would seem to make sense with the storyline, but like, really, would you kill off your main character? But then again, we've kind of killed off Cat Noir multiple times before and it's never bothered us, so why should we stop now? And I think it might make sense with the next part of my theory is that Marinette will have to unify Plague and Tiki and set things right. And if that does happen, the price to be paid will be everyone losing their memories and going back to kind of how things were at the beginning of the series. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out on this because I don't think Miraculous is just going to make Marinette lose her memories by herself. Because at this point, you know, she's been akumatized, she's given up her Miraculous, all these people know her identity, because I'm sure a lot of people will know by that point. Suhan is not going to let her keep the Miraculous box. And they did not introduce him earlier this season for no reason. There's a point to him being there, and I think it's to take back the Miraculous box. So I do think that instead of just Marinette forgetting and Kat remembering everything and trying to convince her, I think that everyone will forget their memories because that wish is made. And the other evidence I have for that is how much Miraculous relies and focuses heavily on memory and memory loss. We have a ton of examples. First off, we know Akuma victims caused by the Miraculous power don't remember what happens. Influenced by a Miraculous can affect memory. If a wish were made by merging the Black Cat and the Ladybug Miraculous together, 
I think it very easily could have the effect on people's memory that we see with Akuma victims. We also have Dark Cupid as a reference. I mean, Cat got hit by Dark Cupid's arrows, was kissed by Ladybug, and remembers absolutely nothing. We have Cat Blanc. Yes, it happened in a different timeline, but Ladybug remembers everything and asks Bunnix if she'll forget everything. So again, we have the mention of memory. Then we have Oblivio. The whole episode is about them being affected by an, an akumatized victim and losing their memories, getting it back, figuring out who they are, and then losing their memories again because of the influence of the miraculous ladybugs. Again, the power of the miraculous affecting memory. And then we have Sass's power in Desperata and in Wishmaker. We see that whoever is using Sass's power remembers absolutely everything, but everybody else around them forgets it like it never happened because time is reversed. So again, it's memory being affected. We have Master Fu losing his memory when he gave up being the Guardian. It was magically erased. And then we have Furious Fu, where again we see Master Fu still having no memories, but very much influenced by his past. You know, with the painting that he made for Marinette. Like, it's almost like his heart could kind of sense or kind of knew who Marinette was, but his brain just couldn't figure it out. So I think that'll come into play a lot going forward. But then... We have Suhan that shows up in that same episode, tells Ladybug to give up the claim as the Guardian, and then they're like, wait, doesn't that mean she loses her memory? And then Cat, of course, is like, that's not happening. So, with all that happening and going on, and they're constantly being this whole memory focus, I don't think it's crazy to think that everyone could lose their memories. And we could go back to square one, pretty much. So what happens if they lose all their memories? Where does the show go from there? I think Suhan would get the miracle box back. And I think the miraculous of the peacock has to be in the miraculous box because we have a next shadow moth. We don't have another peacock holder, at least from what we've heard. That means the butterfly miraculous would revert back to where it was before. And that would be with the aggress. So then, we have the issue of who's the next Hawk Moth. If it's with the aggressed, it has to be Felix, right? Except we're missing one person. One person that we would never have thought of. One person that was just brought back to life by the miraculous. Emily Aggressed. I'm not 100% sold on the idea that she will be the next Hawk Moth, but you know, I don't think we should rule her out. And really, right now, Unless there's a time jump, it's the more logical option. Because she would have access to a lair that the kids would not have. She also would have the adult powers. So I think the finale might be a heartbreaker for us guys. But Miraculous is going to want to keep us hanging on. They're going to give us hope for our heroes to be reunited. So I think at the end of the finale, we are going to get a look of what season 5 is potentially going to look like. Something that's going to set the scene for us and bring us back for the next season. As a side note though, if this does happen, it might be kind of fun to see the love square really reverse. I mean, we could have Adrian in love with Marinette and Ladybug in love with Cat Noir and the roles would be completely reversed. But no matter how they do the love square in the fifth season and onward, when the next Hawk Moth shows up, I do think that Suhan will take the Black Cat and the Ladybug Miraculous and go search for Marinette and Adrian. Because despite the fact that they were kids, or still might be, he knows they can do the job. So that's where we're gonna pick up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is Emily really evil? Will she take over as the next Hawk Moth? Will there be a time jump? And will everybody forget their memories? That's it for me, see you next time.